Hey what's up guys, Betty here and welcome to another Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Blackout video where I'm going to be showing you how to unlock every single brand new icon skin that's just been added into Blackout. That's Woods, Mason, Menendez and of course Reznov and they're awesome. Now, these skins are some of the hardest to unlock in the game so far, requiring you to pull off some of the most difficult objectives to date, including winning matches, having multiple steps, completing Dark Ops challenges, and so much more. But in this video, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know to unlock Woods, Mason, Mendez, and Reznov giving you tips and tricks along the way so you can get these awesome skins as quickly as possible. Of course, we have to start with who I believe is probably one of the most popular characters in the Black Ops franchise, Woods, who is super difficult to unlock for a number of reasons. First of all, you have to get your hands on Woods' bandana, which is the quest item which you can find at the Camp of Norfolk Firing Range in D3, which has two objectives which are you see that hind and you can't kill me. Now to complete the you see that hind objective, what you'll need to do is pilot a helicopter for between 30 seconds to a minute. Now usually if Woods Bandana has spawned, there's a strong chance that the helicopter in the camp will have spawned as well. So best case scenario, you grab that bandana off of this box and you get yourself into the chopper and fly away from the action straight away. Now, if you're not sure if you've been in the helicopter for long enough to complete the objective, just make sure to check your inventory to see if the objective has been ticked off. Something to also be aware of is that the base camp is currently a hot drop. A lot of players in all modes, solos, duos or quads are all landing here for the bandana. So when you're going for it, make sure to land on one of the blue sheets, which usually has a weapon on it. The second objective, you can't kill me, requires you to win the match and this goes across all modes, solos, duos and quads. So when going for woods, I would always recommend playing with some friends in quads as I personally find it a lot easier to win if you're playing with a few other friends that are good players. And that's something I would recommend for everyone if you're struggling to complete some of these victory challenges. Play with some friends that are good players to increase your chance of winning and I'm sure they'd be more than happy to help you get the skin. So, just remember, Woods is going to be a difficult character to unlock because there's only a limited amount of helicopters on the map and you have to win and everyone is currently going for this character skin. So it's incredibly difficult to come out on top in that base camp, but complete all those objectives and you'll get Woods character skin to use in Black Ops 4 Blackout. And it's totally worth it. Next up, we have Menendez, who is another tricky character skin to unlock because you have to complete two difficult close range kills. To unlock Menendez, you'll first of all have to find the locket, which will drop out of a supply crate. And you have three objectives to complete. Kill an enemy with a shotgun, kill an enemy with a melee attack, and finish the match with the locket in your inventory. Now, first of all, getting your hands on the locket is pretty tough. You'll want to use vehicles like a helicopter to be quite aggressive and target the supply drops. You'll then want to use a shotgun like the MOG, which does a lot of damage close up and I think is the better shotgun if you're an accurate player. And then the hardest part is getting the melee kill. So when you first land in the game and you're going for the Menendez character skin, try grab a shotgun as soon as you can on the off chance that you find the locket. You'll then want to try to get the brawler perk to increase your melee damage or find the bowie knife to make it as easy as possible to get that melee kill. I then love using equipment like a grapple hook and concussion grenades to be able to pick up that kill as you don't want to get caught running at an opponent with the locket in your inventory. But that's all you have to do. Find the lockets from a supply drop, pick up a kill with a shotgun and then get a melee kill, which is tough. As to unlock Bruno, all you needed to do was get a melee kill with the mugshot. And then Menendez has a shotgun kill on top of that. And then finish the game with a locket in your inventory and you'll get Menendez. Next up, we have Reznov, who is actually involved in Mason's character skin unlock. So you have to complete this mission and unlock Reznov 
before you'll be able to go ahead and unlock Mason. So what you'll need to do to unlock Reznov is first of all find the Yushanka hat. Now this appears at three locations and it is possible to have more than one hat spawn into a match. So if it's not at a location you've checked, there's a chance it's at one of the others. Now the three locations are the big main fountain estates in between Raid and Strongholds, on the top of the statue in the middle of the circle at Raid and the fountain in the middle of Asylum. The raid hat spawn is obvious as it's not submerged underwater, but the asylum fountain and the middle of a state fountain, the hat is underwater, so you'll need to look closely to make sure that you don't miss it. Now, the objectives for the Yushanka hat are to get an extreme distance kill. Now, this is a kill from 200 meters or above to complete this objective, which can be very tricky to do, and it needs to be a kill just Downing an opponent is not enough, so personally I found this quite tricky to do in squads but more manageable in solos or duos as it's harder for them to get the revive off if you do land the 200 meter shot. You can also use any weapon to get this 200 meter kill but I would recommend using a Paladin or Koshka with a sniper scope, failing that use an Auger DMR. Once you've picked up that extreme distance kill, you'll then either need to finish in the top two in squads, the top three in duos, or the top five in solos, and then finish the match with a Yushanka hat in your inventory. Now, this skin is painful for me, and I'd also love to hear if you have any stories going for skins like this in the comments, but I got the extreme distance kill and then died in sixth place to a war machine. I feel like this is one of the hardest skins to complete due to picking up a 200 meter kill and getting a high placement in a match that you manage to get the hat. It is super difficult. So get the Yushanka hat at one of the three locations, get an extreme distance kill, then finish either in the top two in quads, top three in duos, or top five in solos, and you'll unlock Reznov, which will allow you to be able to go ahead and be able to complete Mason's character mission. And now it's time for Mason, the current hardest character to get in the entire of Black Ops 4 Blackout. This is also the first mission in the game which has a barrier to entry, as you can't just find his quest item at any time during a match and be able to complete it. And that's because you have to be playing as Reznov, who you have to unlock through his quest item, the Yushanka Hat. So first things first, you'll need to complete that mission before you can get Mason, which kind of makes sense as they were best friends. So the quest item that you'll need to find is the stained white t-shirt, which you can find from either a supply drop or supply cache, where the first objective is to be playing as Reznov. If you aren't, there'll be a green X, which means you failed the mission, which could also be an insight into future missions, as this is the first time we've seen that green X. Next, you have to wake the sleeper agent, which means you have to activate the Dark Ops challenge in Array by activating the alarm in the control room. So you're playing as Reznov, you've activated the alarm, and then your final objective is to win the match. This is without a doubt the most difficult character mission in the game so far, as there are missions you have to complete before you can actually complete this one, which could potentially give us some idea on some future blackout missions or Easter eggs, which is quite exciting. So to unlock Mason, find the stained white shirt in a supply drop or cache, activate the array alarm in the control room, have Reznov as your in-game blackout skin, and then win the match, and you'll earn Mason to use in blackout. Now, I would recommend trying to complete this mission in quads, as it's easier to win matches, and there's more players that could potentially find the stained white shirt for you. It's tough, but just take your time and follow these steps, and you'll have him in no time at all. There was also a change to Nomad's character mission in blackout, as there was too much RNG on how you would unlock him. Along with finding Junu's tags, you now just have to kill any three players to unlock him, rather than having to kill three players using specialist character skins, which I think is a huge improvement and also means we could potentially see some changes to other Blackout missions in the future if they're too difficult to unlock. 
But there we have it, guys. That's my guide on how to unlock Woods, Menendez, Reznov, and Mason, the icon character skins in Black Ops 4 Blackout. Make sure to subscribe if you're new, smash that thumbs up button, and let me know how you get on with unlocking these characters down in the comments below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!